And what will those case numbers look like here in Oregon over the next month? Well, state health officials are looking at three models with three different projections. KGW's Art Edwards breaks them down for us. As Oregon puts a pause on reopening, the Institute for Disease Modeling in Bellevue, Washington, released three new models Friday for COVID-19 in Oregon. The Oregon Health Authority uses the IDM models for analysis and planning. There's been a surge in COVID-19 cases in Oregon. Researchers say it is too early to determine the exact cause. The Oregon Health Authority is aware of the models. Our latest modeling indicates that transmission rates after over a month of decline appear to be increasing since we reopened. Right now, we estimate that for every person with COVID-19, they cause at least one additional person to be sick. But we don't know how quickly the virus is spreading. Here's a closer look at the three models from IDM. The most optimistic model assumes a 10 percentage point increase in transmission after opening on May 15th. The number of new infections per day will remain relatively stable over the next month. The less optimistic model assumes a slightly larger increase in transmission, 15 percentage points after May 15th. The number of new infections per day gradually increases over the next month to about 170 additional new cases per day. The most pessimistic model assumes a 15 percentage point increase in transmission after May 15th, as in the less optimistic scenario, plus an additional 10 percentage point increase in transmission after May 25th. By July 3rd, there would be about 14,000 more total infections compared to the most optimistic model, 925 more new infections per day, and 17 more new severe cases per day. The concern over the increase in COVID-19 cases led Governor Kate Brown to put a hold on all county reopening plans for one week. We are all really disappointed. I have to put the safety and health of Oregonians first. At this point, IDM says it's too early to assess the effects of recent protests for Black Lives Matter. The protest began in Oregon about May 30th. The COVID-19 data available for modeling includes only a week after the mass demonstrations began. Art Edwards, KGW News.